guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna kind of be vlog style I wanted to show you guys what I do for my animals every single night before we go to bed so I thought what better way to show you than to do a nighttime pet routine I've never done this video on my channel before but I think you guys might enjoy it I'm basically just gonna be feeding and putting all of my animals to bed so the first thing that I do every single night before I go to bed is I feed my cats and my dogs as you guys know I have two dogs and four cats so let's go on and knock them out first and then we will move on to the pet room here is all of the food that I feed my pets every Every single day so this is Dixie's giant slow feed bowl she scarfs her food down way too fast so I did get this bowl for her in a clearance bin at for four dollars I think it pet smart super good deal she gets one cup of hard food as you guys know I do not feed my cats and dogs solely hard food but I do supplement it in every once in a while so she gets one cup of Whole Earth Farms hard food as well as one full can of the hearty beef stew by Whole Earth Farms. If you're looking for a really good wet food for cats and dogs, I highly recommend Whole Earth Farms. There's no byproducts. The ingredients are really clean and I really like it. My cats also get a little bit of hard food about every other night as well as three cans of this wet food. I'm actually all out of the cat Whole Earth Farms, but I do have some of this Abound on hand. This can be bought at Kroger. It's not the worst brand cat food ever. It's just a turkey and giblet wet dinner and they really like it. As well as one cup of this Simply Nourish hard food. Now you guys know I don't like feeding my cats hard food. Um, however, I did get this bag for free. I mentioned that recently in a PetSmart tour. So since the PetSmart managers were nice enough to give me this for free, I am using Using it and supplementing it in the cat's food about every other day they really seem to be liking it and then we have Milo's food Milo gets a wet whole earth farms meal as well but he gets the small breed kind the small cans I've been trying these they're a little bit more expensive but the whole cans are so huge, he really doesn't need all of that. So I usually give him about one small can of this. Milo also gets two blueberries mashed up on his food, as well as one tablespoon of organic vegetables that I've boiled and mashed together. If you guys are wondering why Milo gets fresh, organic, boiled, and mashed vegetables and blueberries, the short of it is Milo has had some liver issues lately. I haven't gone into detail about it on my channel because I didn't want to worry you guys, and also we didn't have a lot of answers, and he's okay for now. Um, but we are monitoring his diet really closely and luckily the liver regenerates really well So we are keeping a very close eye on it and he does go back in for more liver tests in a couple weeks So that is pretty much what my cats and dogs get every single night So I usually just smash the cats cans of food on a plate and then I take the hard food and I just kind of put it on top There's no like real reason for this. I just kind of mix it in Come here Good babies As you can see, we have to keep a sleeping bag over the quilt at the foot of my bed because these two are always lounging in my bedroom. Are you sleepy too? Yeah? Such a good girl. Such a good girl. You sleeping good? And then after the cats, I do the dog's food. Here we have Dixie's, so she again gets one can of this with a cup of her hard food. And I usually take and mix it in really good. Because she does prefer the wet, obviously. I'm sure it tastes a lot better than the dry food. And that is Milo's food. Here, there's your food. Look. So after I feed my cats and my dogs, I move on to the pet room. And it usually takes me about 20 minutes to feed all of the animals in my tanks. So not all of my pets that are in my pet room get fed every single day. For instance, Lemon gets fed every other day as well as Bodie and Koa. Sometimes I feed them two days in a row. It just depends on how much they ate the day before. But we will go over all of that while I'm feeding them. So it's about midnight right now and that's when all of the babies wake up in the pet room. So this is typically when I come in here and feed them or spend time with them um, because this is typically the time of day that they usually are awake. So I just gave you some worms and some veggies. So you can see he is chowing down on that right now. Very disgusting. And then after I feed Koa and clean his water, make sure he's okay, I go over and I usually check on Bodhi and see what he's doing. But I always get a crack every night when I come in here. I crack up at him because he's always hanging upside down. He is always just hanging spread leg on the side of his tank. Bodhi, you are going to get me demonetized. Do you know that? But I am going to go on and change his food and water today because I did it last night, but it needs to be done again. So we just open it up. He usually just hangs out while I do this. I go in here and get his food and water, and then we are going to give him some new food. So I gave him this yesterday, but you can see he's eaten a lot of it and it's really dried out, so that means it's time to change it. And Koa is probably gonna go to sleep now since I'm in here messing around. 
I'm pretty sure he's done for the night. This is what I'm gonna be feeding Bodhi. It is the Pangea with insects. He really loves this one. Um, I do switch this and the Rapashi off. I mix them up, but we're just gonna be doing this one tonight. Add some dechlorinated water and mix it up really well. And this is all I do for Bodhi. And then I spray his tank down and make sure he has water in his water bowl too. And then of course I go in and give his Exoterra a really good mist down. And I mist underneath this thing right here because he likes to crawl under there whenever he is shedding because it's really moist underneath this hide at the bottom of this tree. So I just kind of mist it down really good. And I do this about once a day, usually at night while he's out and that's about it. So the next thing I do is check on my hermit crabs and make sure that they have food and water. You can see the top of one of their shell back there. That one is almost done molting, that's princess. So I basically just make sure they have all of their water and fresh food, which I did that this morning actually, so I don't have to fill that up. But I do check on them every single night and I make sure to change their food and waters every other day. Then I usually come down here and check on lemon. So she won't be fed tonight, she'll actually be fed tomorrow because I feed her every other day. And and all of the crickets that I put in her enclosure are gone, so she should be good tonight. She's really, really fat right now, which is really good. I enjoy seeing that. I always check her temperature, of course, and make sure that it is above 73. I do like to keep her tank warm, obviously. This is my Inkbird Probe, and I really, really recommend this for Pac-Man frogs or any type of reptiles where you wanna regulate the temperature, especially with heating mats. But of course, little Moo Moo is awake. So I usually come in here and she'll come right up to the glass when she sees me because she wants her worms, which is understandable. So I usually just get a worm and then I'll open this and she knows it's coming and she's gonna want it. Yeah, baby. You're such a good girl. Yes. Usually I take her out and we have some cuddle time, so we'll probably do that. So usually I give her a couple of worms and I pet her and love on her because she's such a good girl. After I give Moose some worms and love on her, take her out, usually I'll sit on the bed or I'll sit on my couch or something and give her some love. And then of course we have to feed Moo Moo. I do feed Moo every other night, usually whenever her bowl gets low. Um, this is after she's picked a lot of the good stuff out. So this is the second night she's had this bowl of food. So I will add some more and she gets the Dwarf Hamster Harvest by Burgess. I keep all of Moo's Burgess in a jar and then I just pour a little bit out on top of her food and that's about it and that's pretty much all I do I just pour her some food in there she's already got oxbow pellets so I don't have to give her any more of those and that's pretty much it I come in here and I turn off Koa's light like so and I usually do this about midnight and then I will also turn off the hermit crabs light however but I'm gonna leave it on tonight because it is supposed to dip below 30 if it is a warmer night like then I don't worry about that and I will just turn off the hermit crab light and then I turn out the light, it gets really dark and quiet in here and then soon Moo will be out running all night and then Bodhi will be crawling around and eating. Koa sleeps a lot, like he's like sleeping 12 to 18 hours a day now because it's winter time and that is pretty much everything that I do for my pets in the pet room. Guys, that is it for my nighttime pet routine. I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will put that on the screen for you. Now that all of my animals are fed, it is time to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Be kind, bye.